Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to convert grey code to binary code using IC7486. So let's get started. Let's take a grey code number 1110. Now to convert it to binary code we have to write its msb as it is then we have to add its output to the next bit of the input ok let's say these are the input and these are the outputs now if we add this one with this one we have to write its sum we know that 1 plus 1 equal to 1 0 0 is our sum and 1 is our carry so we have to write its sum it means 0 then we have to add this 0 with this one 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 0 it will be 1 so this is our required binary number this bit is G3 G2 G1 G0 and for this it is B3, B2, B1, B0. Now see one thing. Here we can say this conversion follows the XOR rule. It means 1 XOR 1 we are getting 0, 0 XOR 1 we are getting 1, 1 XOR 0 we are getting 1. I'll show you this in the next example. First I'll write the XOR truth table. So these are the inputs and if the input is same then the output will be 0 and these inputs are not same so its output will be 1 for 1 0 also we are will get output 1 for 1 1 we will get output 0 I have already explained this thing link in the description below now see another example let's say we have a grey code 0 0 1 0 and to find its binary code we have to write this 0 as it is now we have to do 0 xor 0 0 xor 0 will get 0 0 xor 1 will get 1 1 xor 0 will get 1 ok so this is our required binary code let's say we have a grey code 1 1 1 1 to convert it we have to write its msb as it is now 1 xor 1 will get 0 0 xor 1 will get 1 1 xor 1 will get 0 so from this mathematically we can write b3 equal to g3 now b2 equal to to find b2 we have to do b3 xor g2 so we have to write B3 XOR G2 so this is our B2 to find B1 we have to do B2 XOR G1 B2 XOR G1 to find B0 we have to do B1 XOR G0 B1 XOR G0 Now from this equation we have to design our practical circuit and for XOR function we will use 7486 IC This is XOR IC As we have to convert grey code to binary code so here our input will be G3 and G3 is equal to B3 now B2 is equal to B3 XOR G2 so we need a XOR gate here and then I will take G2 as input and B3 from here so this is our G2 input 
and the another input will be B3 okay as you can clearly see its input is B3 and G2 and its output will be B2 now to find B1 we need another XOR gate and its input is B2 so I'll take one input from here it's B2 and another input is G1 this is our G1 and its output will be B1 to find B0 we need another XOR gate and its input will be B1 so I'll take B1 from here and I need another input G0 so I'll take G0 from here ok and its output will be B0 so this is the basic circuit to convert grey code to binary code now we have to add some resistors and LEDs to this ok this is the circuit we have for the input side we have to add 4 switches for the 4 input ok and here we have to apply plus 5 volt now we have to add pull down resistors to inputs of the gates so here we have to add one pull down resistor and it is connected to ground the value is 1 kilo ohms and we have to add another pull down resistors to its input and for this gate we do not have to add one pull down resistor here because it is also the output of this gate ok we have to add the resistor only here because it is connected to one input switch you can say we have to add pull down resistors after the switch only ok so this resistor is connected after the switch this one also after the switch this one also after the switch and another resistor we have to add after the switch so pull down resistor is connected now we have to add input LEDs we have to add input LEDs after the switch and we have to do same for the all so we have added the input LEDs now we have to add the output LEDs so we should connect output LEDs here its value is 220 ohms ok so this is our complete circuit diagram now let's see this on the breadboard put the G3 switch G2 G1 G0 now connect middle pin of the switch to plus VCC now other side of the switch and this LED is connected to ground through a 220 ohm resistor and this is for G3 input G2 G1 G0 now put the 7486 IC pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC pin number 7 is connected to ground now let's see the pin diagram of the IC so this is our IC and we have connected pin 7 to the ground and pin 14 to the plus VCC as we need 3 gates so I'll use this this and this one for the first gate I'll use this one so its input will be pin number 1 pin number 2 and its output is pin 3 then for this gate its input is pin 4 and 5 and output is pin number 6 so pin 4 and 5 are the input and pin number 6 is the output and for this gate pin number 10 9 are the inputs and pin number 8 is the output so here it is pin 9 pin 10 and pin number 8 is the output now connect G3 switch to the pin number 1 of the IC and connect G2 switch to the pin number 2 of the IC as you can see G1 is connected to pin number 5 of the IC 
and G0 is connected to pin number 10 of the IC. So G1 is connected to pin number 5 of the IC and G0 is connected to pin number 10 of the IC. Okay. Now see pin number 3 and 4 both are connected and pin number 6 and 9 both are connected together. So pin number 3 and 4 both are connected and pin number 6 and pin 9 are connected. Now connect the pull down resistors. As you can see pull down resistors are connected to pin number 1, 2, 5 and 10. Okay. Here is pin number 1, pin number 2 with the pin number 5 and with the pin number 10. Now put the all the output LEDs and all the cathode of the LED is connected to ground through a 220 ohm resistor. This one B3, B2, B1 and B0 LED. B3 is connected to pin number 1 of the IC. B2 is connected to pin number 3 of the IC. B1 is connected to pin number 6 of the IC. And B0 is connected to pin number 8 of the IC. Okay. Now connect both the positive rail, both the negative rail. Now connect the power supply. Here is our positive and here is our negative. We have seen three examples as these are grey code and these are binary code. Okay. As here 0000, so let's see whether it is 0000 or not. Input is 0000 and we know 0 xor 0 it is 0, 0 xor 0 0, 0 xor 0 it is 0. So we are getting 0. Now see this example 0010, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0011. See we are getting 0011. 0, now let's see this example all 1. For all 1 in the grey code we will get binary code as 1010. 0, 0. So it is 1010. 0, 0. For this example 1110. 1110 will get 1011. So we are getting 1011. So this is how we have converted the grey code to the binary code using 7486 IC. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so then please like share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video I will show you another topic. Till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.